Hey everybody. Oh, look at it. A rooster. Oh, there's some horses back there, but uh, going to leaving Hiker Heaven, zero, and uh, gotta go to REI real quick. My underwear is falling off me. It's bundling up. It's causing rashes. It's horrible. So everybody needs to know that. Second Chance needs underwear. So anyways, look at all the campsites. Ah, it's so cool. Um, so compression socks would be nice, like shorter ones just for my feet, if I could find that. But I'm excited to get underwear. So this is going to be, uh, we're splitting it four ways. So it's going to be $10 there and $10 back. Everybody has to pay to get to REI, but they better have two X underwear. <laughs> Maybe I can fit into one X. I don't know, but I need to find good underwear. So I had to share that with everybody because everybody needs to know. Having good underwear is super important. <laughs> All right, bye. Hey everybody, so right now I'm outside the REI. It's there. And uh, just real quickly, I got uh, compression socks. These things were like $50, so. Underwear, this is so important. I ended up getting larges. And I was like, I probably might need 2X. And I looked at I'm like, no, I definitely need larges. Uh, it was like she was helping me find underwear it was a little awkward and I was like yeah it worked and moon cheese I am a uh, craving moon cheese but yeah this underwear here I'll take it out for one second hold on I'm gonna set you down here we go editors like ah oh, you're terrible at filming hold on no I'm kidding she wouldn't say that like I, I gotta keep myself in the frame though right okay here we go All right, check it out. So it's silky smooth. So, well, I don't know if that's silky smooth. I don't know what fabric that is, but hey, I got underwear. I'm super excited. Hey everybody. So I left Hiker Heaven a little bit later than I wanted to. This in an easy like five miles today. A little under five actually. Let's just round up and say five. So it's not bad. I started going uphill though. And uh, my new underwear I got at REI today, awesome. And it's large and I think I left it with like, I know I was wearing like 4X pants and stuff, but I'm at large. I can't wait to next size downgrade. And it's not even tight on me. Uh, it's just, it's snug. Can't wait to switch to medium is the next underwear I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have to buy medium underwear. That's gonna be my next size down. I was like, yay. I weighed and uh, the scale is about 65 pounds is what I've lost. So yay, I kind of like, well, I had my phone and clothes on and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go with, I get to subtract like three or four pounds, right? Cause of everything, jacket, at, like just outfit and shoes and everything. So I'm gonna go with 65 pounds. And when I weighed in there earlier, I was just in stretchy shorts, no shoes, nothing, no shirt. If you watch my original episode one, you see what I wore. I was really dehydrated episode one. <laughs> Anyways, Ranger guy, I hope to meet him again. He's a really nice guy. Obviously he was in the army Rangers. His uh, name is James though, but hiker name's Ranger. And he's like, you're taking gourmet stuff. So I wanted guacamole and uh, what is it? Okay, I got two avocados, Cheez-Its. I got moon cheese again. This stuff is expensive, but it's like dehydrated. And the second time I bought Spam. And yes, it's salty. It's something, okay? But it's awesome. Odd Trail Spam is like salty goodness. And it's like hickory smoke flavored. And with Cheez-Its crackers, I'm on to something. So yeah, my Pringles for the guacamole. And uh, oh no, what did I do with my, uh, here we go. A whole bag of olives, black olives, green olives, and pickles. Pickles don't really have much calories, all really salty. And, but olives are really fattening good. So in the beginning of the trail, I was on the diet thing and I even thought like, you know, do intermittent fasting, which I think intermittent fasting is great and sometimes even like short long-term fasting may be actually beneficial um but intermittent intermittent <laughs> tongue tied intermittent fasting actually has worked for a lot of people and it's actually i definitely could stand like okay that could work but hiking is a different story and you have to eat you have to have calories 
it's so hard if you see what other hikers get they get ramen and lots of noodles and stuff and noodles always upset my stomach i just don't know why so i was trying to go like healthy and get like fatty stuff though and some sugary stuff i did have gush where's the gusher where's it okay gushers sugar super excited about that though too and uh and moon cheese wow moon cheese but that has no sugar in it though does it i tried keto i've tried different diets doing extreme walking exercise climbing up a mountain i'm kind of getting what works and i'm totally i'm losing weight i'm doing more miles and i think actually if i can do 15 mile days the weight's just gonna be melting off so much faster and doesn't matter what i eat but i do want to eat really you know as healthy as i can as much as i can and i'm craving kimchi all the time and kimchi is a korean dish um it's jarred and it's cabbage korean it's like a korean cabbage you can do like uh these radishes too that they grow in asia and kimchi is awesome i love kimchi i actually have made it multiple times more than multiple times uh homemade and just let it uh, sit in a jar and everything and burped it and it just it was salty goodness and it's one of the healthiest foods in the world <laughs> and i love kimchi so much but i'm craving kimchi and i think it's because it's a more it's a salty great bacteria and stuff so i wish i had kimchi so bad right now so yeah nothing's working keto no energy it's like i can't do anything and i know other people on the trail are doing keto and just the fat and i do have a lot of fat here i have to have carbs to get up the mountain I need carbs and I'll see and I'll keep experimenting but the zero carb diet or fasting intermittent fasting doesn't work on the trail not for me and it was it's been great experimenting and I experimented no carbs and all that stuff for weeks on end and it didn't work and it was probably really good though because I couldn't do the miles because my feet hurt so bad anyways and oh yeah here we go $50 REI compression socks they are not as good as my cute other blue turquoise and I almost think they should be a little bit I could have went maybe a size smaller but the size I got looked super small but oh well uh, I'll give them a try my feet are kind of hurting though so they're not as good as were the socks I got at the running store and the running store socks compression were only like $34 but who would have thought buying socks? I, I buy the cheapest socks. I've never bought expensive socks in my life. And I figured out what's happening is my feet are swelling. I'm elevating them. So as soon as they start swelling, I do take a break. I elevate them. Ibuprofen helps with inflammation. So I will take that, but I want to do that in moderation. Compression socks help with the swelling too. So when my feet swell, they get really painful to walk and it just radiates. So I just kind of, I figured it all out. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is like me talking video. Everybody's talking about the Sierras too. <laughs> like, uh, we're gonna die and all this other stuff. And like, we should get a chartered bus and we should walk a uh, flip to, because I saw pictures of the, fin I actually met these Finlands on San Jacinto and I saw pictures of them and they, Sierras, there's nothing but snow. It looks miserable, it looks hard, it looks dangerous. And the most beautiful time to be in the Sierras is apparently in July or like early August. So if it's a once in a lifetime hike, do I want to go into the Sierras in the next couple weeks in the end of May when it's covered in snow still or come back in July when it's like beautiful and flowers and it's the most, it's supposed to be the most epic, beautiful thing in the world. And it's kind of like, Okay, well, if there was no YouTube channel, if there's nothing else, and this was just purely my hike, I would want to see the Sierras at their most beautiful time, and I do not want to be crying in the snow. I know what snow is. <laughs> I know I'm going to be crying, and I know I could get seriously hurt. Do I think possibly maybe flipping up to Oregon and maybe walking southbound? There are a couple dozen people that already said that's what they're going to do uh, for safety. And nobody wants to get hurt. You have to be an excellent, and I get, I just, I'm really scared someone's gonna get hurt too. And I just hope nobody's gonna compromise their hike for anybody else. Everybody's so judgy about like, oh no. But if you're going to flip, I'm not gonna skip it. I want all my steps from Mexico border to Canada. 
So if I miss anything, I want to come back and get those steps no matter what. That's my goal. And I would like to get it, you know, 2019, all those continuous steps in. But I also want to do it safely and smart. And is if I can do it on the PCT safely, yay. <laughs> Um, if there's a roadwalk option around the Sierras, no, I wouldn't want to take it because you don't want to miss the Sierras. This is going to be epic. I'm going to apparently upgrade some of my gear, more money. Ah, <laughs> I wish like gear would just fall out of the sky, right? And uh, I'm going to try to take some really excellent videos. And I'm a complete amateur at what I do on videos, and I've never done YouTube and or Instagram before, you know, starting this hike. So it's like I'm learning as I go. And I think I'm doing okay. I feel like I'm doing like a Blair Witch, you know, Cloverfield style where the camera's shaking. Ah, there's a witch after me or a monster. And I'm just using my phone. So I was just gonna get a lens for the phone to up the quality. And the phone already takes really great quality photos. So I don't know. Again, I'm just rambling in my tank. Can this be like a rambling dear editor? I gave a lot of people a hug today and I actually tried to give somebody a hug today, rambling again, right? And I actually fell over and cut and bled to give a guy a hug and it was still worth it. And I love giving out hugs and I think I need hugs. <laughs> For me to be happy, I need to give hugs. I need like 20 hugs a day at least, maybe 50 hugs. Wow. <laughs> Hugs are awesome though. And there is a guy walking around with this yellow puffy jacket and he just looks so huggable at Hiker Heaven. And I was like, I could not resist. It's like every time I walked by, like, come here, gotta give you a hug. <laughs> but I gave everybody, like anybody who came up and talked to me, it's like no fist bumps. Just, I were stinky, what hugs are fine. And your hands are going behind my back anyway. So yeah, hikers do the fist bumps for hygiene, well, I think hugs are good for hygiene. Then we can smell each other's like, wow, we, we all smell gross. <laughs> uh, anyways, I want to hug because I'm thinking of hugs now. Now I'm going to be depressed. I guess I'm going to hug the pillow. <laughs> Say, Wilson. <laughs> uh, yeah, call my pillow Wilson. Cast away. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop rambling. I wish I had something more cool to say, but I love everybody. Bye. Ah, bye. Give me a hug. Bye. <laughs>